Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of the Sims 3 to Sims 4 series where we are recreating the Sims 3 families and their homes in the Sims 4. And we are now on to Twinbrook families. If you haven't watched any of my recreations of the Sunset Valley families, I tend to recommend you go check that playlist out. It was a lot of fun and that's why I'm continuing it. But anyways, today we are back and we are recreating the good and bad household. So their family description says, The story of how Goodwin and Sinbad ended up as housemates is lost to history. But with such different personalities, the question of why these guys still live together is even more of a mystery. However, as fate would have it, Goodwin may find himself in a bit of a pickle in the coming days. One that only Sinbad may be able to help him through. So... In case you guys did not see a last video uploaded in this series, which was the Jones-Brown family, um, I would suggest you go check that out, especially if you aren't familiar with these Twinbrook families, because that's kind of the situation that Mr. Goodwin finds himself in. <laughs> he actually is the father of uh, Jenny's unborn child, so yeah, <laughs> he's in case you haven't figured it out by now, it's kind of like uh, he's the angel, you know, and then like he's good, and then his housemate Sinbad is the devil on the shoulder. He's more evil and bad, and the two just clash, and you know, like I said, they should not be roommates. Um, but it, I got my theory, or I just I'm going to go into a little bit more explaining why I don't really understand something. But before I do that, <laughs> let me go ahead and uh, tell you a little bit more about. Goodwin while you know we've already actually done him but <laughs> anyways his personality is he's brave family oriented good a great kisser hopeless romantic and his lifetime wish is to be a firefighter fi firefighter firefighter superhero which we did get the firefighter career with ambitions but he is actually in the law enforcement career so um, I thought that was kind of weird but I always would, if I played with this family, I would always just have him quit and then he would become a firefighter because it was kind of like an interactive career, which is really fun to play. But anyways, he's just all around a good guy, very handsome. But moving on to his roommate, Sinbad. So Sinbad Rotter, he is really not that bad of a guy, or at least he doesn't think so. He got caught up running with a bad crowd and now he's in too deep to get out. Will he dive in deeper or look to his friends for help? So, he is um, employed in the um, criminal career track, obviously. And he does not have any type of relationship issues, kind of, you know, contrary to his roommate. But his personality is, he's flirty, hot-headed, kleptomaniac, evil, and mean-spirited. And his lifetime wish is to become a master thief. So, um, while we are moving on to their house, which, you know, I guess I can go ahead and explain that while we're here. Their house, um, is similar to the Jones-Brown family house because, as I mentioned in that first video, when I kind of explained Twinbrook and everything, there's different neighborhoods, um, and I'm going to try to split them up so we're not doing all the same type houses, you know, week after week. Uh, but in certain circumstances like this where the families are like hand in hand, um, just in case you wanted to download both of them, I'm going to upload them one after the other. So, yeah, that's why. <laughs> but anyways, their house is two bedroom, one bath. I built it here on the island of Windenburg because it just resembled more of the, you know, water front house that was in twin brook you know these houses were like on this foundation overlooking the water the river the bay whatever it was and it was so beautiful but it's just not possible we don't have that option in the sims 4 when creating these houses so i just kind of have to use my imagination and work with it um so it is built on a very small lot so there's not a lot of room for landscaping and as far as the landscaping goes I do change it at the very end. I was just not happy with it. It was just weird looking. I don't know. I just don't like building on small lots for that reason. But this was more of a small house with not a lot of outdoor activity. So I figured that it would work just fine. <laughs> but anyways, moving on back to Goodwin and Sinbad. So 
Okay, my favorite Sims to play in Japan Brook was Jenny Jones Brown, which I did them first, and obviously since she has, you know, her storyline goes hand in hand with Mr. Goodwin, I played with him as well. Um, but their family description, where it talks about he's in a pickle that only Sinbad can get him out of, and then with her family description, it said, or her individual biography said that she didn't know if he would step up as a father but the whole like concept around him is that he's such a good sim and I guess you can kind of get that from he's lived by the book his whole life he's done everything right and he got a girl pregnant out of wedlock he didn't marry her first and maybe that's his beliefs I don't know and now he's like in this pickle and he doesn't know what to do but he's such a good guy I mean he literally looks like an angel I never saw him ever you know bailing out <laughs> at all I always had him end up asking her to move in um, they would kick Sinbad out and he'd go find somewhere else to live I just always had him in the Sims 3 step up and be a good father so I just I don't know. I don't understand how they said in the description that Sinbad would be the one to keep quiet or he'd be the one to, you know, help him out. Um, how is Sinbad going to help him out? He's like an evil person. Like, how, tell me how, I don't even, I don't even want to think of how he could help him out. Like, what is he going to do? Threaten her to be quiet? You know, I just don't think that Goodwin would do that to Jenny, you know? <laughs> um, but anyways, I don't, I don't know. That's just my opinion. I always had Goodwin do the right thing. And as far as Sinbad goes, let me just tell you, in The Sims 3, and I've said this so many times, but The Sims in The Sims 3 just were not attractive to me. Just without CC, you know? Which, you know, in The Sims 4, CC does make a lot of difference, like as far as the skins and everything. But it made a world of a difference in The Sims 3. So in The Sims, wait, I'm confused. I, I'm confusing myself. The Sims 4, CC is better, of course, obviously. But um, in The Sims 3, it was necessary <laughs> because they just look like Play-Doh faces without it. And even with it, they just, I don't know, i just not a fan <laughs> compared to The Sims 4. But anyway, Sinbad was not very attractive to me. Like, just, ew, uh, on top of his personality and being evil and everything. But when I recreated him in The Sims 4... Uh, I think he turned out really good. Like, he looks good. He's cute. I mean, they're both very good looking. But Goodwin was supposed to have been, like, this angel. You know, he looks perfect. He is perfect. So handsome in The Sims 3. I mean, he looks like it in The Sims 4, too. But I'm just proud of Sinbad. And, you know, just even me recreating him here in The Sims 4, I didn't give the dude a lot of credit in The Sims 3. I always, like I said, <laughs> he was just evil and rude, and I didn't like him. So I would just kick him out and have Jenny move in, and her and Goodwin would have their baby. <laughs> but now after reading his biography, and, you know, he thinks he's a good guy. He just kind of got in with the wrong crowd, and is he in too deep? Um, I just kind of feel bad. Like, I feel guilty. I never gave the poor guy a chance. But I would like to think that in this time of a crisis in Goodwin's life, maybe he kind of leans on his roommate, just kind of confides in him. And not to mention that they're enemies in the game. Um, so if you download this family, they have their careers. You know, I try to give them the skills. I try to give them, um, <clears throat> edit their relationships to you know, mimic The Sims 3. So they're actually enemies. And that's because once a good Sim, once an evil Sim, you know, they just clash. But I could imagine that he would lean on him, confide in him, and kind of bring to bring them two together as friends. I don't know, does that make sense? And maybe Sinbad having such a good friend, haha, <laughs> he will, you know, get out of the lifestyle that he lives where he's you know stealing he's a thief he's um just not doing too good life's not looking too good for him uh but anyways I, i'd like to think that something like that would happen that's just me but moving on to their house um the interior of it 
when I furnish these houses for these Sims 3 Sims that I'm recreating, which is my favorite thing to do, just because it makes it so much easier and more personal, and I just get really into it. I mean, I get so into it. I just, I, look, when I speed build, and I'm, you know, finding these plans on Pinterest, and I'm having to go in and create the interior and furnish it, I struggle. Like, I have an idea, but I just, I can't, I just struggle. I don't even know how to explain it. And I do speed builds, and they do end up coming together at the end, but I I just get so frustrated half the time. I build the exterior, but then when I go into the interior, I just feel stuck. I don't even know what to do. So I always end up <laughs> exiting out, saving it, and then coming back a day or two later with like a fresh mindset. Um, but with this series, I just, I don't do that. I just flow through it. Y'all, I'm like four weeks ahead. I'm four families ahead in Twinbrook right now because I love it so much. It just makes it so much easier to go in and furnish when you know exactly the Sims you're furnishing for. You don't have to create a Sim in your head and come up with a storyline. Oh, it's just so much fun. But anyways, when I do these houses for single male sims or roommates or with males in general and no female in the household, I always try to think like a man. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, most of the time, you know, men aren't going to go spend all their money or their extra money on some nice decorations and furniture for the house, you know. Men usually just need the bare necessities and they're fine. <laughs> uh, so I was trying to make this house resemble that in a sense but I also imagined it being kind of nice so you'll see you know touches of decorations throughout the house like in the entryway I did put you know a little table with some mirrors and decorations and you know their couch and their plants and stuff in the living room look nice I did you know clutter up the little coffee table with some debug handheld consoles so I gave them a console center I put a pizza box up there which of course is going to spoil when you go into game but just for like <laughs> the inspiration behind you know two guys living here imagine that they would order pizza a lot um, I gave them a foosball table you know a stereo um, all of that so it does look very boyish but there is little touches of like plants here and there and like pictures on the wall and I don't know I was just like you know maybe maybe because I have some friends guy friends who have apartments or houses and their houses look like really nice <laughs> like I would live there and I'm like how, where'd you get this style and it's like oh my mom so maybe a good one's mom or his sister or someone in his family was like look we need a we need to you know fix her up or this house a little bit so maybe that's where the decorations came in I just really wanted it to kind of have like a touch of it, it looking like two men live here, but also it looks nice and like clean at the same time. Does that make sense? That's what I was going for. But <clears throat> sorry. Also, I didn't mention. I don't know. I haven't. I don't. I haven't listened back to this voiceover yet. Obviously, because I'm doing it right now. But hopefully, well, I feel like my voice feels better and sounds better now. But in the beginning, I was like, ooh, like listening to myself because I've been sick. Um, as most of you know, I'm like eight months pregnant. <laughs> Um, but also I had like these, I think it was like allergies or something or just like a cold. I don't know, but I was coughing for like a week. It was miserable and I was very hoarse and lost my voice. And thankfully I'm getting over that. So my voice is still kind of like scratchy and ew, but anyways, that's what's going on. <laughs> but anyways, as far as the house goes back to the, me explaining, you know, the house, the kitchen area huh, is not as cluttered. Um, as I would usually have it just because when I do smaller kitchens like this sometimes it can just look too busy if you have something on every single counter I just I don't like that because I mean it's just it just looks too much you know just too much um, so anyways I think it turned out really nice and uh, fun fact I I built the house and I stopped, took a little break after I did like the interior uh, part of the living room and the hallway. And then I took a break before I did the kitchen. And so I went back on, finished the kitchen, finished the dining area. And then I realized, oh my God, I never hit record. Uh, so if you saw how smooth that was, like I just, I 
knew what I was putting on those counters is because I'd done it before already. <laughs> so usually I struggle a little bit with swatches and placements, but you know, sometimes I just, I'm human and I forget to press record. And thankfully I have not yet, I have not yet done a whole build <laughs> without recording. I've, well actually I had done that one time. It was a while ago, one time, and it scarred me for life. It was a pretty big build. Uh, yeah, it scarred me. I was pissed. <laughs> so now I'm like super paranoid. I'll make sure I start recording, and then I'll go and like double check, and I have to edit out a lot of me like exiting out of the game to make sure it's still recording because, I mean, you put a lot, like this is like a 20 minute long video, but the actual footage of me recording this was over two hours probably. And this is a short video, like 20 minutes is pretty short for my speed builds. Usually it's 25 or more minutes, which you know is probably about four hours, <laughs> almost three to four hours of footage that, you know, I kind of just like drag out, but you know, it's speed build, so obviously. Anyways, it's just a pain in the butt to have to, you know, decorate and have like a vision and everything's coming together just to realize, oh my god, I didn't even hit record, so yeah. <laughs> Anyways, on to their bedrooms. Um, Sinbad's bedroom. Obviously, I was trying to give the uh, idea that he was, you know, kind of like uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I gave him black walls. <laughs> I gave him a black bed. Um, I did clutter his desk really nice. I think it turned out really, really good. I, but he's in the criminal career track, and his bedroom's kind of big. Uh, so I did give them those big walk-in closets just to take up space. I gave him a punching bag. But he doesn't have any athletic skill because I checked uh, when I was doing their rooms. I wanted to see, like, what their skills were so I could add some of their skill-building objects. Uh, he didn't really have many skills, but I would just imagine that him being, like, a the criminal career track that he would probably get into a lot of fights and need to know how to defend himself so I put a punching bag in there for him just to kind of take up space um I was thinking maybe he's into music stuff like that I don't know I just kind of struggled with his room I felt like there was only so much I can do I didn't want it to look super decorated and nice because like I said it is a male's room <laughs> and I just feel like they just don't care that much and then as far as Goodwin's room. His is more light. It's blue. I gave him a desk and kind of gave him um, like a lot of clutter on his desk to portray him being in the law enforcement career and everything. So yeah, they are definitely complete opposites. But like I said, I do think that, you know, the situation that Goodwin's in kind of brings them together. And I would hope that having such a good friend in his life would kind of help Sinbad get out of that rut he's in where he's just living his worst life possible um, and that good one can be a good you know friend to him a good influence once they get past their enemy stage which would probably be a little bit hard because they're going to hate each other at first but I think that's what makes it fun to play a family when there's all this drama going on but anyways <laughs> I did put a few things on the back porch. I just gave him a grill, a little picnic table. I gave him a little woodworking bench. I don't know why. I just, you know, men, I don't know. Maybe they want to be handy. And then I did change a little bit of the landscaping. I just deleted the flowers and pushed the rocks back. I just felt like uh, the flowers was too girly looking. It just did not look good. Uh, I don't know. Not a fan of the landscaping. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, if you like these sims and you want to download them, they are available for download on the gallery. All that is linked down below. Subscribe if you have not. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.